Tasiswe hapa before you. Kama mtu kama wako there amenishinda na harmonize inaweza kaacha muziki leo. Eh. Kwa sababu unajua wale wanachukua zile vitu wanaona range rover wanachukua hii lakini mimi mimi nimefanya vitu mingi sana sitaki nikae kama najigamba lakini kwa hiyo list kwa kienda into details yani kuna watu yani wakanishinda hapa yani naweza hata design kwa hii kitu niko nayo okay. si maringo lakini mimi nimekuwa mjosi for the longest time hata before ni kwa mbunge <laughs> yani si mara ya kwa <laughs> Charles Jaguar Kanyu. Uh, mimi ni mmoja wa wale invite hapa leo. Na the main reason uh, tuko na two reasons yenye tumewaita hapa siku ya leo. Ya kwanza mimi kama msanii na release video mpya inaitwa Unthinkable. Tumefanya na Lava Lava kutoka Wasafi TV. Na ya pili kama unavyojua before niingie siasa it was in 2017 nilikuwa na record na studio inaitwa Main Switch Studios na after niingia siasa kidogo tukaacha production as in atuko into serious production lakini sasa hivi kama mnaviona hapa leo Kika Road tumefungua main switch tena ambayo itaanza tena ku record kama vile tulikuwa tuna record kitambo sasa maswali ah kwanza kuletrekesi ngoma inatoka leo matayari mshotoka eh tumetoa audio ngoma inatoka leo video lakini tulitoa audio kama four days ago yeah. Uh, it's been a minute tangu umuone Jago Mitali ala drop uh, project. Mm-hmm. E, ni kwamba sasa ndo umerudi kabisa kwenye game ama inakuwa ni bado una utakuja uta alafu potete. Unajua uh, naweza sema mimi ni msanii and that's where I belong. Kwa hivyo uh, vile nilinyamaza ni kwa sababu naona wakati niliingia siasa uh, being a member of parliament sio rahisi kwa sababu wewe Jago between kufanya kufanyia wananchi kazi kwenda bunge na kufanya music at the same time so nikapata sometimes hata kwa sababu unajua kwa msanii unahitaji time unafikiria idea una recorder alafu inaitisha time mingi sana so wakati niliingia mbunge nikaona nimeshikamana sana yani hakuna time nilikuwa napata ya kwenda studio kuwa mu creative na vitu kama hizo so nikaweka kando kidogo lakini sasa eh, naweza sema haikuwa plan yangu ati nimesema nimerudi nakumbuka vizuri the song uh, we are releasing uh, today nilifanya kama 7 years ago one day ne, tumekuja kufungua studio kuangalia studio venye inaendelea and my good friend lava lava was in town akapitia na wakati filo alikuwa anaicheza tu producer wangu alikuwa anaicheza akasema ah hiyo song kali sana yani before hata nitulie kidogo nilipata asha andika na aka record na mimi nikasikia ni ngoma nzuri nikasema eh, good music hakuna haja nizuie itoke kwa hivyo tuka record na tukafanya video na sasa ndio hii inatoka kwa hivyo naweza sema mimi napenda muziki na mahali nimefika hata sasa hivi kaniuliza ni choose between kuwa mwanasiasa kuwa assistant minister me any day nita choose muziki kwa sababu i believe kila kitu niko nalo among zile vitu nimeweza ku benefit nazo kwa hii kwa hii kwa hii dunia music imenifikisha music nimefanya nifike mahali nimefika leo mm-hmm. okay umesema uh, ukiwa mp ungeweza kufanya muziki na pia uendelee na kazi ya mm-hmm. but right now pia uko na tour kwenye government itakuwaaje Naweza sema ni tofauti kidogo kwa sababu ukiwa assistant minister unachukua duties kutoka kwa CS. Na kama unavyojua tumekuwa na tumekuwa na kesi kwa team. Na for now hatuja report kwa ofisi lakini kulingana na vile najua uh, ukilinganisha CS na member of parliament ziko tofauti sana. Kwa hivyo najua nitakuwa napata time ya kufanya muziki na time ya kufanya ile kazi present amenipatia. Uh, Congratulations kwanza for the new movie. Thank you. Na unaona kufana na Malava. Mm. Eh video ya hiyo music itakwafanya na Tanzania. Kukua Kenya? Video mtafanya huko Kenya. Tushafanya video. Mlifanya Kenya. Tulifanyia Kenya, tulifanyia oh. Kenya. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'm maybe going back to main switch. Of course, uh, we've been seeing uh, so many labels coming up and uh, unfortunately who has been vizuri and so many artists wenyewe wamekuwa under labels, wamekuwa hawafanyi uh, vizuri when it comes to income and everything. What are you guys planning to do differently? I think uh, one thing I, I, I I've come to realize about the, the music industry is that uh, you find artists wengine kama I, I remember the last time we had an interview I told you ni I'm here I'm, I'm where I am today kwa sababu ya mentorship and I think that is what is lacking in the music industry. Unapata msanii and I've been talking to even wale wanafanya vizuri sasa hii hana idea ya ku invest. Yeye anajua tu ni kuimba, kuweka pesa, kufanya nini na unajua muziki ni ya time. Kwa sababu hata mimi wakati niacha muziki kidogo eh, ni kwa sababu nilikuwa nimefanya nimefanya nikaona 
hata nitulie kidogo nisome music kwa sababu inaenda ikichange kwa sababu wengine wanakuja sauti solo wanakuja mimi nimepata jua kali nimempita yani muziki ni face ni for some time kwa hivyo mimi ile kitu nasema kitu ya kwanza hata because you sign msanii ni kuwa mentor kwa sababu lazima wachukue muziki kama biashara lazima ikuwe biashara saidi yetu kama main switch na kusaidia wasanii lakini unapata sometimes ukiambia msanii leo unamsign and expect umlipie nyumba umchukulie gari umfanyie kila kitu lazima unaona hata si Kenya pekee hata nchi za nje unapata kuna kuwa na mvurukano kati ya producer eh, kati ya label na msanii kwa sababu label already may invest a lot of money kwa msanii kwa hivyo ukiambia msanii tunarudisha pesa yetu kwanza msanii anaona hapana ananyanyaswa kwa hivyo kitu ya kwanza ya muhimu sana na nitasema ni kuwasanii wajue muziki ni biashara. Wewe uko na talent na producer uko na ile kazi yake kwa hivyo kila mtu ana benefit. Na I think hiyo ndio shida tumekuwa na unapata after some time unapata kuna wasanii mtu anasema nilifanywa na label sikupata pesa yangu vitu kama hizo kwa sababu naye anasahau zile vitu label imemfanyia. Mm-hmm. Okay, tuko hapo kwenye uh, wasanii kwa biashara. Uh, recently I've covered a story I uh, am Mustafa it was a story that most of us know about it and he insisted that the reason yeye yuko mahali hapo sasa hivi it's because uh, muziki haulipi hapa Kenya. Maybe you can tell us more about, about it and maybe your thoughts about the story are you uh, He's your fellow artist. Have you planned to reach out to him or be ready <laughs> Unajua, unajua Miss Jui ni sema nini kwa sababu Mustafa ni rafiki yangu sana. Sana sana. Na wakati nilikuwa naanza muziki, naweza sema nilikuwa nataka siku moja nikuwe kama Mustafa. Na tukiingilia issue ya Mustafa kwanza ni nikumshukuru kwa sababu tunaona ile kitu ilifanya tuseme wakati tu, ile kitu ilifanya ajipata kwa mjengo anasema ni ugonjwa na tunajua sisi wote hata bilionea hata mimi mwenyewe eh, ikifika ni ugonjwa hakuna mtu hawezi kavezwa kwa hivyo mimi niseme hivi mimi najua muziki unalipa na kama vile nilianzia nikasema hapa ni vile unachukulia muziki ukichukulia wewe unafanya muziki kwa sababu kuna talent na unataka kuenjoy maisha utaenjoy utaenjoy maisha lakini mimi niliingia kwa muziki nika invest nikafanya shughuli zangu nikijua hii si biashara sitakuwa naweza kosa kuwa lake kama mtu kama Kofi Olomi ambaye nilimsikiza nikiwa mtoto mpaka saa hii anaendelea kuwa na bahati ya kuwa kwenye muziki kwa hivyo mimi nasema na nita insist hata leo hata kama ni serikali ifanye nini lazima we mwenyewe kwanza ujipange hata sio muziki pekee hata siasa ukiingia siasa uenjoy au ufanye vitu zako bado tunaonanga kuna wabunge hata sisi tunawachangia pesa unapata mtu ni mgonjwa ama mtu alienjoy maisha yake anakuja bunge anakwambia ninunulie chakula kwa geti na alikuwa mbunge. Kwa hivyo mimi nasema na mimi na advise wasanii. Biashara yoyote kwa sababu kama ukiangalia kama sasa mimi before nitoke kwa muziki the least nilikuwa nalipisha ni 500,000. 500 100,000 hakuna kitu uweze kafanya nayo eh, hii dunia yetu. Lakini unapata mtu anapata 500,000 nataka kununua Mercedes, nataka kufanya hivi. Kwa hivyo ni lazima kujue muziki ni kama zile biashara zingine. Okay, we still look on a chance find 100,000. We expect maybe the rate can say hivi imepanda ama iko pale pale. Unajua sijakuwa nikipiga show na, na, na unajua red card ya mtu inakuja na ile kazi umefanya. Na mi ufanya moja moja na vile nimesema na kama vile umeniuliza saa hii siwezi kashuka kuliko mahali nilikuwa before nianze. Kwa hivyo kama itahitaji nitie bidii zaidi na mimi nasema sifanyi muziki ya tili niende nifanye show nifanye nini kwa sababu ni kitu napenda na ni kitu naweza taka iendelee na kuinspire wale mabijana wengine. Na tukirudia story ya 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 ya, ya, ya Mustafa nilisoma hiyo story na ikaniguza na kama vile nimesema ni rafiki yangu apart from ile 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 wa Kenya walichanga sisi na marafiki zetu e, mimi akina Arthur K akina Big Ted tumeshikana kama group na ninaweza waambia hapa tume raise more than 1 million na tuna plan next week kama Tuesday na tutawaita tutaenda kutembelea Mustafa kwake nyumbani na, na mamake ili tuwe to make sure kwanza anarudi tu, uh, tuone kwanza anarudi kwenye muziki ama anataka kufanya biashara ama na, na zile zingine atasaidia mamake na mtu kama governor Sonko amejitolea kupatia Mustafa kazi kwa hivyo at least ni ndugu yetu tumesimama na yeye na tuta make sure ile kitu na, ina, ina, anapitia saa hii si tunashikana na yeye to make sure anatoka kwa hiyo shida na anarudi kwa muziki na endelee na maisha yake ya kawaida okay nina swali kwa uh, Mustafa amekuwa akiwa kwa shida kwa muda sisi kwamba nyinyi kama wasanii hamkujua ako na hiyo shida kama mlingoja kwanza hiyo mke ndo mjitokeza kwamba mtamsaidia hey, hiyo ni swali ngumu kwa sababu unajua hata mimi kama sasa hivi nimekaa hapo kuna watu wapendi kuongea juu ya shida zake na that's why nimesema nimeshukuru Mustafa kwa sababu yeye alijikakamua kimwanaume na akaendelea yeye hakuja kuomba 
hakuja kuomba akakwambia jagwa niko na shida hii mimi ni rafiki yangu na hajai niambia kitu kama hiyo hata wakati niliona hiyo story nilipigia producer wangu anaitwa Philip nikamuuliza kwa ni rafiki yetu Mustafa kwa na issue akaniambia tayari anakujanga studio na haja sema kwa hivyo naweza kusema kuna watu wasemangi shida zao na ile video ilitokea sisi tulipata kwenye social media kama angekuwa na ukweli na rafiki yangu unaweza kumuuliza hajai tupigia simu akaniambia jagwa niko na shida hii unisaidie nikakataa na unajua kiukweli watu wengi wanapitia shida watu wengi sana wasanii sio sio Mustafa pekee na, na, na wale na wale wanapitia shida bila kusema wasanii na wale waimbaji na waambiaje na wamenyamaza chini ya maji saa kiongozi unaambiaje wale wame kuna wale kama Mustafa wenye wanapitia shida kama hizo wasanii lakini sasa tumetokeza hawezi na mwambiaje unajua nayo tuongee tu kweli kibinadamu kila mtu akona shida zake hata mimi mwenyewe nakaa hapa hata nikiwa assistant mimi kama nikiwa jagwa unaweza ona kama niko na kila kitu lakini hata mimi nikipata mtu akoju yangu naweza kumwambia shida zangu kwa hivyo mimi naweza kumwambia ni vizuri kuongea ile kitu unapitia na ni vizuri tena ukiwa juu uweke marafiki kwa sababu kuna wakati mwingine unapata mtu wako juu haongei na mtu unapata watu wanasema wanaanza kupongea vibaya unaona Mustafa sisi wote tumemwembrace kwa sababu hajai katusi mtu hajai ongea vibaya kwa hivyo ni mtu unaona kama ni shida ako nayo na unavyojua Watu wengi sana walipitia shida wakati ya covid hata mimi mwenyewe ili affect kwa hivyo wasanii wengi waliumia biashara mingi ziliumia kwa hivyo mimi naomba kama mtu akona shida ni vizuri kuongea kuliko kujifungia kwa nyumba okay jago uh, ya ya na ujuzi umeachia picha fulani kama teaser ya hii video but kenyans interpreted misinterpreted it pale kwenye twitter wakasema kwamba unakula katika ya zamani ndio maana unaonyesha kitu kama hiyo what do you have to say about that uh, mi si maringo lakini mi nimekuwa mdosi for the longest time hata before ni kuwa mbunge. <laughs> yaani si mara ya kwanza. Yaani si si semi ya tinajigamba ama kitu kama hiyo lakini maisha kama ile ya video ni vitu nimefanya miaka kama 15 nikiwa kwa industry. Yaani hata nikiacha muziki saa zile niliacha kwanza ni kwa sababu niliona hakuna kitu sijafanya. Kama ni kupiga show nimepiga Kenya mzima. Kama ni Tanzania nimepiga Tanzania mpaka mikoa. Wacha sasa Dar es Salaam, wenye watu wanaenda kupiga show huko. Mimi nimefanya mpaka Mwanza, yani nimezunguka kama vile msanii anazunguka Kenya. Kama ni Burundi nimefanya, kama ni US nimefanya. Kwa hivyo naweza sema mimi hakuna mahali tunahusiana na tax payers money. Na before hata nikuwa mbunge nilikuwa na pesa. Na hiyo si maringo ama ni mimi na si tunajigamba. Kwa hivyo maisha yangu hata nikuzuia nilizuia kidogo after nimeingia MP, tena wasiseme zaidi. Nikapunguza. Kwa hivyo hata kuingia kwa kwa, kwa government ili ni fanya at least nisiweke ku post vitu zingine kwa hivyo nikianza ku post watachoka sana on the same thing just before you answer mheshimiwa unaona ulianza kutumia chopa ya president unatamani kujua yeah. how did you accept it and how is your relationship with the president as well <laughs> eh, eh, kwanza nijibu swali yake kama 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 vile nimesema hapa muziki ni biashara na ile time nilikuwa kwa kwa kwa, kwa game ya music nimesema hapa the least mimi nilikuwa nachukua kwa show ni 500000 na kama ni kama hiyo time mimi nimesema nilichukua muziki kama biashara sikuwa naichukulia kama mchezo mchezo kwa hivyo kama nilikuwa na make one concert na lipo 500 na kila wiki naweza pata kama tano that, that, that tells you kila wiki nilikuwa na make more than 2.5 kwa hivyo vile nilikuwa naweza ku invest mimi maisha yangu niliweza kujipanga na about uh, uh, chopa ya president niliona watu wameongea sana rais ni rafiki yangu sana 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 and he is very supportive when it comes to the creative industry kwa hivyo mimi kumuomba chopa yake ni kitu kidogo sana kwa zile e, ura, mahali urafiki yetu imefika. Kwa hivyo hakuna siku nitaenda kwa rais nimwambie nataka kitu inanisaidia mahali anikataza. Talking of okay, talking of the presidential support. Okay, let me that in the video inapatana na hiyo. Um talking of the presidential support. Tuliona of course you were uh, ulikuwa kwa UDA na you were vying for the parliamentary seat. Lakini uka step down for someone else na pia ukarudi tena as an independent candidate. Tunashindwa kuna pesa ulikuwa umepewa ndio step down na kama ulipewa ilikuwa shilingi ngapi? Mm. Unajua hiyo wakati nilipitia wakati mgumu sana kwa sababu nasikupata time ya kuji express kwa sababu unajua kwa siasa kuna chama. Mimi najua maneno kama tuseme kama ODM kuna wakati party leader anasema nataka jagwa. Wakati mwingine anasema nataka huyu. Kwa sababu 
niliingia UDA nyakati za mwisho sana eh, kama four months to, to election nikapata kwa UDA walikuwa chatafuta candidate wa kusimama mahali nilikuwa nime nasimama kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa GBD kwa hivyo mimi tulikaa chini ya rais na akanielezea kwa sababu chama iko na iko na walikuwa na preferred candidate wa kusimama pale starehe nikasikiza kwa sababu sikuwa sikuwa hiyo time yote walikuwa napanga mikakatia kwa hivyo kuna venye ninge defect leo na niseme ni kama sasa useme presidential candidate mwingine aingie UDA na akuwe presidential candidate so what we what we agreed with the president ni mimi ni sisimame ni support kwa presidential campaign nizunguke naye kama vile mliona tunazunguka naye lakini sasa nikaona watu wameongea oh ameshindwa amefanya sasa nikashindwa nimeshindwa kwa kiti na mimi mwenyewe sijavaa kwa hivyo there was an agreement ya tulisikizana tukasikizana ni sisimame nimsaidie kwa presidential campaign alafu na yeye tukishashinda kiti nikaangalia sasa bigger 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 picture nikaona nimsaidie kwa kwa presidential campaign alafu akishashinda then tusaidiane kazi kutoka hapo you've uh, mentioned that um, uh, the president uh, is very supportive when it comes to the creative industry mm-hmm. and recently unfortunately tumepata uh, habari kuwa tutakuwa tukisafiriwa kama digital creators mm-hmm. uh, tungetaka kujua wewe kama uh, creative na pia kama mheshimiwa unaweza sana nini about that and will we, will we have uh, maybe an, an opportunity to go and table maybe our yeah. ile kitu naweza sema sitaki niongee sana about kazi ya CS kwa sababu kama unavyojua kesi iko kotini lakini kwanza nataka nimshukuru rais kwa sababu for the first time tumepata arts yenye creative yenye ya, ya creative industry yenye mimi nimekuwa for the longest time imeweza kupata nafasi imewekwa kwenye ministry ya youth kitu haijai kuwa for, for the longest time ulikuwa unapata ni sports tu unapata ministry ya youth na sports wana wanashughulika sana na wakimbiaji vitu kama hivyo unapata sisi watu wa wa, wa, wa comedy hawako musicians hawako actors hawako kwa hivyo kwanza namshukuru kwa sababu ameweka arts kama 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 kwa ministry ya youth kwa hivyo grievances zetu zote at least tutakuwa na mahali tunaweza kazipeleka na mimi nataka nikuhakikishia kwamba mimi ni mtu siwezi kasimama hapa nikasema ni, niweke kiburi niseme najua kila kitu na mahali nimefika sahihi nimefika kwa sababu ya kusikiza na vile mmesema critics wanaambua atakuwa analipa tax what I, what I can promise you kwa sababu mimi najua na mimi uomba sana tutapata uh, tuta, nitapata nafasi ya kuhudumia kuhudumia kama CES tutakaa chini na, na, na nyinyi watu wa digital uh, digital uh, digital uh, na wasanii tusikie zile shida wako nazo na tuone mahali serikali inaweza kaingilia kwa sababu hauwezi katatua shida na mimi na believe na mimi na naamini kwamba zile shida mko nazo wale watu wanaweza tusaidia na solutions ni nyingi bado kwa hivyo mimi naweza wa promise after tumemaliza maneno ya kesi kotini tutakaa chini na nyinyi tukae na wasanii na actors tuone mahali kwa sababu ni ni department mpya tuone mahali serikali inaweza kaingilia Mheshimiwa mwanzo sema uh, you are in people's hearts because of your good music na ulikuwa unafanya kazi kubwa sana then ikafika muda tukapotea utaenda politics uh, most of your fans want to support you kidogo because umewaacha sasa tuna wanaumerudi kidogo kwa music utafanyaje mpaka urudishe ile imani ya your fans kwamba utakuwa nao tena that's why nimekwambia whatever i have uh, sahi nashukuru kwa sababu ni music imenifikisha hapa na mafans wali support sana hata si Kenya pekee and hata ble, hata kitu yote niko nayo nimepata kwa sababu ya muziki na mimi najua ni kweli kwa sababu once you join politics unapata your fans from the other maybe the other part wanapata ni kama mnachukiana ama kuna chuki lakini ukiniangalia kwa siasa yangu mimi si yule mwanasiasa wa kusimama ni tusi mwanasiasa mwingine so what i did ni concentrate na sare i did what i what i had to do for the sare people na na nikafika mpaka mahali nilifika nilifikisha hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo mimi naweza kusema kwanza wasiniangalie kama msanii. Waangalie kwa ile kazi naleta kwa sababu naamini kuna wasanii wengi sana hata wanatoa nyimbo na azichezi. Lakini kwa natoa wanasikiza kwa sababu ya zile eh, kwa vile nimeandika nyimbo zangu, mawaidha ambazo napeana kwa hivyo na talent yenye nilikuwa nayo. Kwa hivyo naweza sema bado narudi na ile talent. Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo sidhani sidhani naweza ka force mtu asikize nyimbo kama sio nzuri. Kwa hivyo what I'll do ni to make sure narudisha hiyo relationship na mafans wangu kwa kuwapea good music. Jambo yeah, can you promise yeah. us that bado utaendelea to stand for the truth as much as kwa kwa government. Tuna kumka kama tujimbio ya. Yeah, you speak out your truth. I don't know why I don't know why people choose only the, the politician part kwa hiyo song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kwa sababu hata <laughs> no, hata hey. unasikia watu wanikiintroduce mtu anakuita, eh tigegwe ukuja hapa. <laughs> the song iliongea juu ya social evils mingi sana eh. Daktari zile vitu zina happen kwa society. Yeah. Sijui kwa nini watu wanachukua ngani kama the worst people ni politicians. No, but can you promise us that we'll still speak your That's why I've said that's why I've said the the the, 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 the appointment I got. Yeah. I'll sit down na wale wako stakeholders wa hiyo wa hiyo 
kwa the creative industry tujaribu tusaidiane tumalize zile shida ziko i think that's the best i can do kwa sababu hiyo ndio kazi nimepewa okay you can comment which that you know ni funny sana hata 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 it's a funny story kwa sababu i had friends that time na nilikuwa nimeanza kutengeneza pesa kidogo unapata rafiki yako rafiki yako rafiki yako kabisa yeye ndiye anaenda kukusengenya kusema vitu vitu mbaya about wewe unapata uh, unapata yule mtu unaamini kabisa hata watu wa familia yao ndio wanakuchongoa zaidi kwanza kuna siku nilienda siku moja nimepata visa ya US nikaenda US alafu nika, nika, nikaita watu nika nikawapikia nikawafanyia nini nikamwambia eh hey, mimi naenda US wase mimi nime mambo yangu nimefunguka kufika Detroit nikadipotiwa tena nikarudishwa hapa the same people wenye nilitia bash ndio walinichekelea zaidi <laughs> Unaona kwa hivyo ni song nilikuwa nadhania naandika about shida zangu nikapata ina, ina, ina ni kitu inakata close kwa kila mtu na watu wakaipenda kwa hivyo By the way I thank I want to take this opportunity to thank Philo my producer na na, na Lucas eh? kwa sababu I remember that night nilikuwa nimeenda Kenzo the, Kenzo was shooting his music video and uh, stima ikapotea so watu wakaambiwa ngojeni kidogo 30 minutes I just started raining nikia so juu chini ili nivuke boda wana nige namwamini i had written it lakini siku anadhania it was a good song so immediately nilimba the producer anaitwa Lucas akaniambia umeimba nini so i just i repeated the same songs because we were shooting the video at uh, Ogopa Studios aliachana na camera na kila kitu akaniambia let's go record that song so even mimi mwenyewe siku anajiamini na hiyo song it's only after like one week two weeks producer alinipigia akaniambia sasa whatever you've been looking for umeipata and even shot the video akiniambia nitafute pesa ya video na mwambia i missed it cause cause i had done a lot of videos nikamwambia mimi I'm, told, I'm, i'm not willing to invest more music on music videos kwa sababu nilikuwa naona ni kama nimefika mwisho akaniambia tanta kufanyia free so lucas is the one uh, alibanya nijio kigeogeo ni mwema sana na ninashukuru watu wa kenya mheshimiwa mm. uh, this is this goes to uh, wasewa uh, starehe uh there's been a debate online pale twitter that uh, when you are the mp for starehe uliko naonekana what do you think about the person who uh, succeeded you manzi hata wasi wengine wa mjiji na you know the, you know you know what happened after unajua wakati wakati uda ilipatiana certificate kwa kwa mtu mwingine watu walikasirika kwa sababu uh, wengi walikasirika na wakavutia the current member of parliament i'm not saying that he is not doing his, uh, his, jo- his work the way he is supposed to do and there is no way uwezi kasema ati leadership style ya jagwa nayo tena ule mp yuko yuko afuate kwa hivyo mimi nilifanya kazi ya kujitolea kuonekana kwa watu kusikiza mashida kutatua lakini unaweza pata ule mp amechaguliwa hata kama watu wanasema haonekani mimi sijui kama anaonekana kwa sababu sijaenda huko sitaki nichomee mtu picha niseme watu wako na different styles za, za leadership na kama vile unavyojua a member of parliament ako na ofisi maybe the current member of parliament ana delegate ofisi yake ifanye vile vitu vinatakikana vina, vina Okay, it feels like you're still doing your political duties at the same time being a musician. Are there con- any conflicts between music and politics? Na na sema iko. Na sema iko kwa sababu kwa sababu kama vile nimesema unaona kama sasa mtu akiniona mimi anaona rais rais eh, eh, Ruto. Unajua kama tukiangalia zile votes nayo ODM ilipata kuna 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 ni kama half half nimesema unaweza pata kama country ko divided kwa hivyo kufanya watu kufanya kuimba nyimbo ambayo kila mtu atapenda kama mimi sasa inakuwa sometimes unaona kuna mtu anasema huyu ni wa UDA huyu mimi sitaki kufanya kwa hivyo kaza nasema kidogo yewe inani affect mimi kwangu kuna kuna shida hapo kidogo so there's a list that was published earlier um, and you came in as a number two in Kenya as the richest uh, musician in in, in Africa in East Af- in, 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 in in Kenya and then you came in number seven as um, in East Africa and they said you are worth around seven million USD is that true and if not how much do you think you're worth ile kitu naweza kasema na ni kumshukuru Mungu kwa kunifikisha mahali amenifikisha. Niseme, niseme. Umesema namba 1 alikuwa nani? Unajua ukiangalia hiyo list, mimi nimekuwa kwa industry for more than 15 years. Na unaona harmonize kwa namba wote mimi lakini mimi naweza swear hapa before you. Kama mtu kama wako there amenishinda na harmonize naweza kaacha muziki leo. Kwa sababu unajua wale wanachukua zile vitu wanaona ring rover wanachukua hii lakini mimi 
mimi nimefanya vitu mingi sana sati nikae kama najigamba lakini kwa hiyo list wakienda into details yani kuna watu yani wakanishinda hapa yani naweza hata design kwa hii kitu niko nayo hata hapa huko hata hapa huko right now hapo awali we used to see wasanii wengi wakitokea main street they were hitting walikuwa kubwa sana sasa hivi kuna plans za kuleta wasanii wengine ambao watakuwa wamesainiwa ama wako sasa hivi naweza kusema na ni cash kid ataongea on behalf of the main street lakini mimi kwangu vija nimesema kwa sababu nimekuwa kwa industry unaona the problem yenye iko kwa 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 kusainiwa kwa wasanii kama vile nimekwambia unapata wengi hawachukui muziki kama biashara that's when unapata kuna hizo conflict. Kwa hivyo ile kitu nimeambia watu wangu eh, wa, wa main switch. Kwanza ni kumenta wasanii. Hii ni biashara tunaingia. Nikitumia 10,000 kwa kwa lazima hiyo pesa itarudi. That's when unapata kuna hizo mashida mingi. Kwa hivyo mimi nasema tutachukua wasanii. Kuna wale wako hata Mustafa mwenyewe amefanya nyimbo hapa inaenda kutoka. Kuna wengi sana wamerekod huko na kina ambasada. Kuna wasanii wengi sana wako. Lakini kitu ya muhimu sana ni kujua wajue tuko kwenye biashara. what we can do about that kwa sababu valve music have been there for the longest time because i remember even when i was coming up nilikuwa na kama kina manyake and people criticize the criticize it na bado ika hit so i think it's something people like what i can say is that ukiwa msanii kama vile umesema zile nyimbo nilikuwa na ina mimi nilikuwa naangalia society ile kitu inaweza kuwa kama advice ama kitu kingine kwa hivyo naweza kawaambia wale wasanii ambao wanatunga hizo nyimbo kwa sababu they don't last for long kwa hivyo kama unataka kuwa remembered kama legend wewe ufanye muziki ambao una relate na watu ambao uko hata mzazi anaweza kaucheza mbele ya watoto kwa sababu itakuwa na longer life na wewe utakuwa na heshima hata ukisimama mahali kama sasa unaenda mahali unaomba uje yule ameimba tingiza matako sasa unaona hata ni aibu kwa hivyo mimi naweza kawa advice hata kama inahita haraka na inaisha haraka kama wewe unataka kuwa remembered kama mtu wali make change kwa music industry ni vizuri ufanye muziki ambao iko na message okay, right. the current gospel industry can spread what is that I have never been a gospel artist but I think kuna scandals mingi zilitokea I think kwa kwa zile kwa music industry I think watu wakaona ni kama inakaa kama kimchezo lakini sidhani sifai sidhani wa, wa Kenya ama wale wanasikiliza gospel music wanafaa wa change kwa sababu ya watu wawili watatu ni kama tu ile story ya Shakahola mimi naweza kusema ukisoma bible ukisoma bible inakuelekeza vile utaishi maisha bila kuumiza mwenzako kwa hivyo hatuwezi sema ati tuachane na 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 na, ghost, na na neno la Mungu kwa sababu ya mtu mmoja. Kwa hivyo mimi naomba wa Kenya wale walikuwa nasikiliza gospel ati kwa sababu kuna wasanii wengi sana wa gospel. Wasiache kusikiza gospel music kwa sababu ya watu wawili. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. so, Mheshimiwa, mimi mm. naitwa Munye Kazini. Na umezungumza kusiana na kolabo yako ambayo ni wimbo wako mpya ambao unatoka leo. Na Lava Lava ni msanii mkubwa sana wa East Africa. Na ametoka pia lebo kubwa wa East Africa. Umesema alikuja hapa akaingia studio mkarekodi lakini kuna mikataba ambayo inaweza inawekwa. <laughs> Utazungumza vipi kusiana na mkataba wako na Lava Lava siku ya leo kwa sababu ukiangalia kwamba Diamond ni msanii ambaye anajua biashara na msanii na mziki ni biashara. I think uh, I think uh, ni ukweli. Uh, that, that's why nimesema ikifika ni maneno ya label ni tofauti sana na msanii kama mimi hajai kuwa sign kwa sababu mimi sijai kuwa sign kwa maisha yangu yote na tumekuwa na tatizo na na, na shida hata na lava lava kwa sababu mkishafanya nyimbo lazima kwanza aende aulize apatiwe ruhusa sijui kuna nini kuna nini lakini sasa mimi sijapitia hizo vitu zote kwa sababu nyimbo ni yangu kwa hivyo sasa unaona hata tuliongea na yeye jana anaambia na ngojea management na ngojea management mimi nikamwambia wewe ngojea management mimi na so 
mimi nasonga kwa sababu mimi na understand kama walisign kitu lazima kuwe na mkataba wako na mimi sitaki kuwa involved na hiyo kwa hiyo wewe binafsi wewe hakuna hela yote umetoa kati yako na WhatsApp mimi hakuna kitu nimeitishwa na 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 lava lava mimi nimesema nimekuelezea before alikuja kwa studio hata sio kitu tulikuwa tumeplan yeah. alikuwa amekuja concert kwa club ya Songo ika tukapata tunakuja kumuonesha studio mahali huko sasa tukicheza cheza nyimbo akaipenda yeye mwenyewe kwanza yeye mwenyewe hata ndiyeanza kuandika kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa nisha record kitamu kwa hivyo aliupenda tuka record na sasa nyimbo ni yangu alright kwa hivyo lava lava yuko kwenye video ama yuko kwenye video alright yes. yuko signed na wasafi that's why nakwambia hata before to release nyimbo tulikuwa tunangojea kwanza wamalizana na management au tunangojea damu anafanya mimi nikaona inachukua muda sana that's why nimemwambia wacha mimi nisonge mbele Kenya wewe wewe tuta, tutapatana huko mbele Mwesh, ah, so, kuna hii swali tu hapa la mwisho tu. Ah, uh, kizungumzia kwa sasa burudani hapa Kenya. Uh, kumekuwa na hii vuta ni kuvute kati ya wasanii na pia na watu kama NCSK. Hela zingi kama vile hapa tunapa. Wewe ni kitu gani ambacho unaweza fanya ili hii hela tuweze kuona? Before kama vile nimesema eh, kwa sababu sijaingia kwa ofisi ofisi. Lakini nikiingia nimejua kumekuwa na mvutano ukienda Kekobo Uh, wanakuambia MCSK inatumia 70% ya collection wanapata kulipa kulipa wafanyakazi kuliko hiyo pesa iende kwa wasanii unasikia the same about risk unasikia zile pesa wanaokota zote uh, kama 70% inaenda ku, 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 kwa kazi za ofisi so sometimes unajiuliza basi hakuna haja tukue na na MCSK kama ile pesa inaokota yote inalipa inalipa wafanyakazi kwa hivyo ni vitu tutaangalia kwa sababu iko under ministry ile mimi nimeingia lazima tukae chini tusikizane pesa ikiokotwa kama ni 20% iende kwa ofisi 70% iende kwa wasanii. 